Welcome to the original yearbook podcast, brought to you by your local Midwest yearbook representative, Jamie Silver, proudly representing Herc Jones Yearbooks. Jamie shares his lifelong passions for yearbook and photography to bring you inspiration, how-tos, and timely reminders to support your publication. Please sit back, enjoy, and remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes. Well, hello, everyone. This is Jamie Silver with Herf Jones and Varsity Brands. Welcome to the March episode of the Yearbook Podcast. I know the year is flying by, and I always want to be respectful of your time, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. But as usual, if you look below the video here, you'll see the links to the three topics we cover today, and please feel free to jump to the topic that you find most helpful. Now, to get started, the first topic is another great video from Mark showing a sneak peek of the next version of eDesign coming out for next school year. There's some really cool features here I just wanna highlight. It's a short video. I'm gonna play that for you here and I'll be right back. When creating next year's book, you'll experience a redesigned eDesign built with the latest web technologies that runs in any browser with no need for flash. Use the new send and cell to create richly formatted email messages to promote yearbook sales and ad sales, or to ask for images through eShare or announce yearbook distribution day. Use the image editor to enhance your pages with cutout photos, adjust images, remove red eye, add a color splash, and more, all using this built-in tool. In page design, you'll enjoy the intuitive controls and the ease with which you can create custom colors and rotate objects. You can add a stroke to text and even place photos inside of text while keeping it as live, editable type. Those are a few more of the things you can expect from the redesigned eDesign launching this spring. Check out the previous sneak peek videos if you missed them and stay tuned for more updates in the coming weeks. Now again, these videos are available on our website. You may have already seen them, but I just want to highlight it here. The few things that I notice as a takeaway that I want to bring to your attention, some really cool changes for next year, are the ease in which you can rotate things on the page, as you saw with Mark, as well as the quite upgraded um, editing text live with a photo in the text. That's pretty cool. And with the outlines around it, some pretty cool things that are improved from what we have now. So um, more to come on that, but I want to share that sneak peek number three with you. You are welcome to look at the others as uh, Mark shared there in the video. Now, moving on to our next topic here, I'd like to bring to your attention another large topic that we should be thinking about this year, and that is yearbook day, yearbook distribution. This this is what we're all working towards very hard um, as we wrap up the book. I know we're all knee deep in production right now, um, but I want to share this. Just maybe you're already thinking about distribution day, but if not, I kind of wanted to put this on your plate here just as a reminder that uh, this should be a fun day. This is what we're all working hard towards. So I want to share this quick video with you here, and I will be right back. So a little shout out to Hinsdale South. You may have seen a picture of you guys in there from your book distribution. Um, but that, that short little video just kind of get you excited about distribution day and get some ideas flowing. A lot of the things you saw in there, including uh, the yearbook swag and all that is available on our website. So um, let's jump into some other topics here. Now, I'll, going along with yearbook day and distribution, we have a bunch of resources on this website and I'll link it uh, below to help you start planning your event, some ideas for the party itself, and then of course like a master plan that you're welcome to look at. And I mentioned the swag and all that. If you click here on our website, you know, these are some of the things we have that are just done for you. Obviously, if you're gonna make your own custom ideas that fit in with your theme, and I'm gonna show you a great example of that from Mead High School in a minute, 
Um, but we have some things that are done for you. You're welcome to click here, purchase what you need. Um, everything from t-shirts to pins to uh, postcards. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here, including banners and signing pens um, and wristbands. Something to think about if you're doing like a, you know, a party where you have to, some schools do this as a, a paid event where we'll have bands and food and all that. And you might have a wristband to get into that event for your book distribution. So um, do take a look at that. We have a lot of resources here for you. Now this, this is a great topic and, and I invite you to come watch this video when you like here. Um, but this is a really good example of some videos to help promote your book distribution and to promote the school year. In this video you'll see examples where they go from you know, a live video of the game and hopefully if you hadn't done it this year maybe something to note for next year. You know, when you guys are out shooting say the game here, capture some video because you never know when you might use that. And there's some great examples of where they have some video you know, of the game and then they cut right to the pictures on the page in the book to draw, you know, to bring it together. So some great examples there. Please feel free to click there. Now in this example, as I shared earlier from Mead High School, this is written by the advisor and a great quick read. Tons of information here. You know, she went to this great degree of almost planning this, in my words, kind of like a wedding event. I mean, everything from the decor itself to, you know, using um, Erasmus videos and QR codes, if you will, and other ways of bringing in video like that other example I shared with you. Um, but really highlighting all the hard work that this yearbook staff had done to create this yearbook. And as you can see, it's all themed. She bought, I think she said like 50 pounds of candy. You know, some things, um, a breakdown of projects that she did that were really cool from, you know, frame signs to an actual photo booth and props to make this event fun. You know, Costco is a great place to go print some pictures. I do this personally for family pictures. You know, for 50 bucks, you can get a ton of prints and put them out, you know, at the event. Um, Erasmus videos, some of you might use QR code. So I would encourage you to look this over. Some really good information here from this advisor at Mead High School to really make your yearbook distribution a party. Now moving on, let's go back up to this page here. And you know, social media, social media badges. These are also things that we've created for you. You can click here to actually download these and use them on your um, your choice of social media. But you know, these will really help get attention to the student body right before the yearbook distribution day, but also use it as a follow-up to collect you know um, followings and pictures of the event and all that. Um, now. If you also need some information on selling your books last minute, some great lists here and suggestions to help you sell the books kind of as a last minute right effort right before distribution and of course at the event itself. And lastly, for those of you who like lists like myself, <laughs> here's a last minute checklist, um, some overviews and just plans and tools to help you get distribution day running smoothly. Now, with that said, I also did want to share with you kind of a, a save the date, if you will, for this summer. If you are interested in joining us, we would love to have you at Yearbook Camp. We are hosting this again uh, June 9th through the 11th. Now, it is at Lake Forest Academy here, and we're set up for both residents and commuters. So for those of you listening who have a larger distance, you're welcome to stay with us with your advisor. And the only thing I want to say here is it is first come, first serve, limited space, as I noted here. So you want to make sure to let me know right away if you do intend on joining us and need uh, to stay on campus because we want to make sure we reserve rooms for you uh, depending how many people are coming with you and your advisor. Otherwise, commuters are always welcome and just advisors are also welcome for those of you who want to join us uh, without students, but you're all welcome. There's more information here. Um, I do organize this with my co my coworkers, Maureen, Melissa, uh, Joelle, and Betty as well. So um, save the date please in early June. If you can join us, we'd love to have you. Um, June 9th, we are celebrating our 100th year, which is kind of cool. Herf Jones is 100 years old now, and we're going to have some fun things at this event. And it's just packed full of information on helping you get really started off on the right foot for next year's yearbook, including art time with an artist from Kansas City, and really start planning out next year's book. I know that seems a little crazy right now in March, but just something to think about for the summer as it approaches. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions on those three topics, please feel free to reach out anytime and have a great day. Look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Yearbook Podcast. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, feel free to reach out to Jamie and his team anytime. Jamie can be reached directly at 
965-6262 or 847-561-8525 or at jesilver at herfjones.com. 